the ever presence is the name given to those of us who have run each year. This run in April will be our 40th. It's a club that you can't join, you can only leave. There are 10 of us who will in all likelihood be starting and who knows how many will finish, how many will still belong to that club, uh, we never know that. I'm Ken Jones. I'm the oldest of the uh, London Marathon runners. Uh, I'm 86 years old now. I've done the London Marathon uh, 39 times. I'm going for my 40th this year. The Ever Presence uh, was a group that was formed in 1995 after the 15th running of the London Marathon, and we've become a fraternity over that time. There are there are no there are no women in the in, in the group, unfortunately, but we are. Uh, at its founding, a, a group of 42 runners, uh, we're now down to 10 who've completed all 39 Londons. If you miss out, you're out. There's, there's no second chance. And that we've seen odd ones go over the years which, which, which they hadn't pulled out for different reasons. It's a very close group and we meet up from time to time away from race day so that we can enjoy each other's company rather than feel stressed about the forthcoming race. Um, but we all want each other to get round and it's a very supportive group. This year particularly is uh, very special to us all. Um, you know, we never thought this would ever arrive and it's just nice to be recognised, you know. The London Marathon's oh, gone through a dramatic change from 81 to 2000 plus and particularly up to 2020 where we are now. One area in particular, obviously the numbers on the streets, there were pockets in 81 of curious people. That's all that you can say, really. They, they cheered us on, but basically thought we were just a little bit mad. First race was a very friendly race. There were about six and a half thousand runners. There was plenty of room. I ran my first London Marathon. These still know the laces broke a bit later on. I just tied them together. I bought two pairs for five pounds. So these were two pound 50. And I ran two hours, 35, 52 the 270th position in the first London Marathon. The race um, had far fewer uh, numbers and particularly there were far fewer female runners. Now there are many women runners and it makes it a much more balanced. Today there are three quarters of a million people lining the streets and there are very few places where you don't see crowds of people along the side. Everybody really gets in with the mood of things. It's, it's a huge London block party. I'd like to show the first medal. There it is. That's the first. And that was the 39th. What do you think of the first medal? They hadn't got to grips with the, with the ideas of encouraging us to come back for more. But look what they got now, a really beauty. I'm going to do it next year to do the 40, then I'm going to retire. There's one of me in the first London Marathon. Oh, London has changed considerably over the years. The first two marathons at least, you've got manhole covers sticking up in the road and you've got galvanised cheating round the factories that weren't there. But now you don't go that way. My hardest London marathon is probably the last one because as you get older, it gets harder. It was the year 2000, four weeks prior to the race and three weeks prior to the race I run hilly 20 mile road races and uh, my back finally gave up and I, I said this is this is the end of this uh, this sequence and uh, I, but I found that I could run with it I could walk without pain but I couldn't run so uh, I walked for five and a half hours and that keeps me in the group. My favourite London Marathon memory is the first, it has to be. I'd always promised myself a marathon from 
I think it was the age of five or six, which sounds slightly insane, but I just enjoyed running. And it took until 1981, stopped playing football, decided to run a marathon. My favourite London Marathon memory is in 2005, uh, when I was joined by my three children, Jamie, John and Hannah, and we ran together, we started together, and we finished together. This is actually on my son's wall at home, so let me borrow it. The favourite London Marathon, I think, was in 1991, and I was in the finishing straight. Um, I suddenly heard this shout saying, come on, Dad. I saw, sitting on top of a great big stone statue of a lion, my three sons. Happily, there was a photographer there from one of the running magazines, and he actually took a photograph of that moment. How much longer can you keep going for? Uh, I said I'm going to finish this year, but no doubt someone's going to talk me into doing it again. So we'll leave that as an open book.